Hi guys, welcome to my channel, I want to be a cabin crew. Today I will be talking about grooming standards in Qatar Airways. I will start telling you that the company is pretty strict when it comes to the look of their cabin crew. We have a grooming book and the grooming officer checks our appearance before every flight. What exactly happens during this check? A grooming officer comes into the briefing room, we stand up and the lady checks each of us, our uniform, our hair, nails, shoes and makeup. What happens if we are not up to standards? If the problem is really serious and it cannot be fixed on spot or in the next few minutes, the person is uploaded and sent home. This means that cabin crew will receive a warning letter and this is a serious problem. Honestly, I haven't seen any crew getting floated from any of my flights, but I know these things happen. Usually the grooming officers are nice and try to solve your problem. If your uniform is not well pressed, they have an ironing machine in the grooming office that you can use after briefing is done. If you forgot your jacket at home, they will try to borrow you one, but if they don't have one at that moment, you will be offloaded. If you have your hair dyed and your roots are visible, they will write down your staff number and they will check if you fix your problem in the next few days. If you have your shoes dirty, they will just tell you to polish your shoes. What types of problems can send you home? Skin allergy on face, hands or lower arms, severe acne, facial injury, haircut that is not up to standards, etc. Mainly anything that cannot be fixed within few minutes. If you have any of these problems, you can call them at least two hours before the flight and tell them that you cannot operate the flight. In this way, nothing will happen to you. You will not get a warning letter. Let's say you have a burn on your hand that will take a month to heal. What will it do if you cannot fly all this time? Most probably, the company will find you a ground job for this period. I will talk first about grooming standards for female crew and then standards for male crew. Let's start with one of the most important subjects, makeup. We have five products that we must use. Foundation, mascara, lipstick, blush and nail polish. The foundation should be the same color as your skin tone. If you want to use eyeshadow, it has to be well applied, not too heavy. Colors permitted are plum, burgundy, brown, beige, pastel shades in pink, lilac, blue and grey. Pastel green is allowed only for supervisors. Colors that are not allowed are dark or fluorescent shades, black, purple, violet, orange and glitter. If you want to wear eyeliner, it must be brown, black or grey and it should not be applied too thick or heavy. For mascara, the only color permitted is black. Eyelash extensions and tattooed eyebrows are not permitted. This is what the book says, but if your tattooed eyebrows look very natural, no one will tell you anything. Let's continue with the next mandatory items. The blush has to be peach, warm pink or rose and the permitted colors for lipstick are burgundy, rose, pink and deep red. It's not allowed to wear nude, pale lipstick, clear lip gloss, very pale pink or peach gloss, orange tones, metallic silver or gold, lilac, mauve, violet, brown and glitter. Also, if you want to wear lip liner, it has to match the lipstick. As we are done with the makeup, let's continue with some grooming standards for hands and nails. Nails must be cut to the same length, be nicely manicured, polished and hands should be moisturized. Your nail polish has to be the same color as your lipstick. So if you wear red lipstick, you have to wear red nail polish. Colors permitted for nail polish are clear, French manicure with white tips. These two types of manicure can be used with any of the approved lipstick colors. 
so clear nails can be worn with pink lipstick. Other permitted colors for nails are rose, burgundy, pink and deep red. Henna and nail design are not permitted. Let's talk about another important subject, hair. Hair has to be dandruff free, non-oily, tied or combed away from the face, neat and tidy without any wispy, loose strands around the neck. If you are using hair color, it must be natural and must be maintained. Female crew with natural graying hair must color their hair. Colors permitted are black, brown, auburn, ash blonde, flaxen blonde, golden blonde and blonde. No highlights or lowlights are allowed. If you have short hair, it should be cut to one length, should be away from the face, neatly tucked behind the ear, neatly styled and the length must not be shorter than the top of the collar or not longer than the bottom of the collar to be worn loose. Medium length hair. Hair that is longer than the bottom of the collar must be tied in a ponytail of not more than 6 inches. If your hair is longer than that, it's considered long hair and must be tied into a bun or a French twist. Not permitted hairstyles are very short, spiky, short hair, straight or curly, which has not been properly styled, unruly curly hair, overly gelled oily hair, close cut up styles, extra long fringes, lower than eyebrow level, ponytails from the side of the head, braids, layered or graduating hairstyle, use of wigs, hair pieces and hair extensions. Hair extensions can be used only upon approval for crew with natural afro. What hair accessories can you wear? Let's see. Hair accessories should be of the same color as your hair. Cover elastic bands, plain undecorated combs, slides, clips and hair nets. Maximum of three accessories, combs, slides, clips. A lace band or thin plastic hair band for short hair can be worn during service. Let's talk about earrings. Female cabin crew with pierced ears are required to wear earrings at all times in uniform. Only one must be worn in the lower ear lobe. Only plain yellow gold stud or white pearls, ring or clasp not visible. Plain design, round stud type. Must not exceed 1 cm in diameter or not larger than the ear lobe. Exempted from wearing earrings are those who never had their ears pierced and those who have a medical certificate stating that they are not able to wear earrings due to medical reasons. They must obtain a permission letter from grooming officer. Any type of braces on the teeth are not permitted, both for female and male crew. That's all about female cabin crew, now it's time to talk about male cabin crew where the situation is not that complicated. Use of any makeup, tint moisturizer, nail polish, etc. is not permitted. The face has to be shaved, but they can wear a mustache. It should be above the top lip, neatly trimmed and well maintained. Not extend beyond the lip line of the upper lip. Beards are not permitted. Nails must be kept clean and neatly trimmed and hands should be moisturized. Let's see what are the rules when it comes to hair. Hair must be well styled, neat, tidy and combed away from the face. Length should not exceed the top of the shirt color. Use minimal amount of styling products. Males with natural graying hair are not required to color their hair. If using hair color, it must be natural and must be maintained. Not permitted hairstyles. Spiky, overly gelled, oily or wet look hair. Close shaven, crew cut, tiles showing the scalp. Long, untidy hair which is below the color. Neck hair should be removed regularly. That's all about male crew. I want to tell you that if you work as cabin crew, you must wear a watch at all times while in uniform. The watch has to be moderate size, plain design, without diamonds or colored stones. 
straps must be in black, brown, silver, yellow gold or mixed silver and gold. Dial must be white, black, grey, silver, yellow gold or brown. Rose gold watches are not permitted. If you want to wear a ring, you must know that it has to be plain design band ring of not more than one half in width. Gold or silver, only two rings allowed, one on each hand, should not be worn on thumb or index finger. Not permitted rings with stones, diamonds, puzzle rings, chunky or colored animal rings, neck chain and bracelets, any visible face piercing, tongue rings, religious threads and other jewelries. If you want to wear sunglasses, you can do it, but you have to respect some rules. Should be of moderate size, plain in style. Frames must be in neutral colors such as black, brown, silver or gold. Must not be worn inside the aircraft or airport, terminal building and in QR premises. Must not be worn on top of the head. Must not be attached to a neck chain or cord or hooked to clothing. Flashy design or logo on the frame is not permitted. Spectacles or lenses are also permitted and must respect the following rules. Optical glasses should be plain. Frames must be in gold, silver, black or brown. Frames should be of moderate size. Complements the wearer. Lenses must be made of plastic. Contact lenses must be clear. Flashy design or logo on the frame is not permitted. Transition lenses are not permitted. Colored fashion contact lenses are not permitted. If you have a wedding ring, it may be worn in addition to the other two rings allowed. Maximum of three rings. This ring may have moderate size stone. Guys, this is all about our grooming standards. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you want to discover more about Qatar Airways and cabin crew life, check my channel where you can find videos about open days and assessment days, layovers, scars, online application, accommodation, pros and cons, working as cabin crew, roster, requirements, training, interview simulations, salary and life in Doha. If you still couldn't find the answers to your questions, just write your questions below in the comments and they will be happy to answer you. See you next time!